Rhonda is a very beautiful white town in Andalusia, uniquely separated into two sides by the El Tajo de Ronda Gorge. We love spending a couple of nights here to take it all in. In this video, we are going to show you around Ronda, the things we love doing and the places we loved eating at, along with some things to know before you go. Welcome back to our South of Spain series. In our last episode, we explored all the things Granada has to offer beyond the Alhambra. From Granada, we made our way to Ronda. We stayed in a nice little Airbnb in the new town, right near Alameda de Tajo Park. If you're wondering where to stay in Ronda, the new town is really central and closer to the train and bus stations. The old town is also a really great area to stay and very central and perhaps even more picturesque you may just need to get a taxi to your accommodation if you arrive using public transport. The new town is actually not that new at all, only in comparison to the old town. Known as El Mercadillo or the Little Market, some of the buildings here date back as far as the 15th century and is very beautiful. Here you will find some stunning lookouts, parks, streets and places to eat. Puente Nuevo, the new bridge, is an iconic site in Ronda. This bridge joins the new town to the old town, towering over the El Tajo Gorge, and it's just as impressive in person as it is in photos. Walk over it and take it in from the many different viewpoints around Ronda, like Mirador de Aldehuela and walkways in the bridge. You can also walk down towards the El Tajo Gorge and get a view looking up at the bridge. There are a couple of other bridges you can take a look at too, Puente Viejo and Puente San Miguel. But not all lookouts in Ronda are of the bridge. Ronda has so many stunning views, you'll find yourself looking away from Ronda as much as you look within it. We loved the Mirador de Ronda that looked out over the countryside and was also located within a really lovely park, Alameda del Tajo. There are incredible views from almost anywhere on the edges of Ronda looking out. Not too far from the new bridge, and also designed by the same man, Jose Martin de Aldehuela, you will find Plata de Toros de Ronda. We didn't go inside the bullring, but it's still worth a look from the outside. The old town, or La Theodad, is the old Moorish quarter of Ronda, which dates back as far as the 8th century. Here you will find the charming winding cobblestone streets that meet at beautiful large squares with orange trees and bench seats, as a subtle reminder that sometimes not doing anything is perhaps one of the best things to do. Then there are the tiny little squares that make you feel like you've discovered a secret when you stumble across them. The buildings here are beautiful and interesting and there's just a really lovely feeling walking around and exploring here. We took Calle Arminian walking away from the main parts of Ronda to make our way to a charming gourmet shop. The walk there was stunning. On the way we walked up part of the old city walls and saw the old city gate, Puerta de Almacaba. Just outside these city walls and gate is the San Francisco Barrio. This neighbourhood felt like a really lovely local part of Ronda. From what we have read, it was an old workers barrio, apparently created for the merchants to bring their goods to Ronda to avoid the trading tax. 
In this neighborhood, we had reached our destination, La Tienda de Trinidad. This little shop with one friendly man serving had the best jamón we had ever tried. It was delicious and melt in your mouth. He helped us select some local cheese, jamón and wine. We took it out to the little standing table on the beautiful street on the outskirts of Ronda and enjoyed soaking up what seemed like an uneventful Wednesday afternoon that was a very special moment for us. Another place we loved eating at was Entre Vinos in the New Town. Here we had some incredible tapas and really friendly service. Some of the dishes we tried here were black noodles with squid and alioli, pork loin sandwiches with mojo, and we couldn't go past the jamón and queso. El Lechuita is another great tapas bar in the New Town. When we were there, most tapas were less than one euro each, with a few outliers, so great value for money here, and the food was tasty. We couldn't go past an opportunity for churros for breakfast, so we went to Churria Alba. Whilst driving to Ronda may be the easiest way to get there, buses and trains are still a great option. The train and bus stations are centrally located in the new town. Trains from Cordoba take under two hours. It's three hours from Granada, three and a half hours from Seville and four hours from Madrid. Our next stop was Cadiz and we got a three and a half hour bus here, which was easy. Ronda is really easy to walk around with some options to do hikes and some more hilly trails. We went in the spring and loved it. Autumn would be our next pick. Ronda is often done as a day trip and even though you can definitely see and do a lot in a day here, we wanted to be able to take it in slowly and enjoy the quieter early mornings and nights here. So decided to stay a couple of nights and we are so happy that we did. We hope you enjoyed the video and found it useful if you're planning to visit Ronda. If you would like any further details about Ronda, take a look at our blog post on almostlearning.com which we will link below. Thanks so much for watching, hope to see you in the next video which will be on where to eat in Cardiff, where we have eaten some of our favourite meals in Spain. See you then. Mira, la tijota las...